Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using solve for y. So let's get going. Problem solve y equals to 1 plus p into x plus p square. So here, we cannot consider equation as equation. Given equation as equation 1. The equation, we cannot factorize the given equation. And second thing, 1 is of first degree in y, right? Look at the power of 1. Power of y is 1. So, we can say that 1 is of first degree in y and also it is of first degree in x also, okay? But here... We are going to solve the given equation using solvable for y. Since the given equation cannot be factorized and also is of first degree in y. Since the given equation is first degree in y, so we will use solvable for y method. Coming to the problem, given equation y equals to 1 plus p into x equals to p square, right? Now, differentiate with respect to x, then d by dx of y equals to d by dx of rhs part. This is plus, okay, not equals to. Again, we can write the equation as derivative of y with respect to x equals to d by dx. So, 1 into x, x plus p into x, px plus p squared. Then, dy by dx equals to derivative of x with respect to x plus d by dx of or derivative of px with respect to x plus derivative of p square with respect to x. We know that derivative of y with respect to x is p, right? Since p equals to dy by dx, then the above equation becomes, this equation becomes p equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus derivative of px. Here we can use uv whole prime formula, which is equal to u dash v plus v dash u. Then we'll get derivative of p with respect to x into x plus derivative of x with respect to x into p okay plus derivative of p square is 2p into dp by dx then p equals to 1 plus dp by dx into x is x into dp by dx plus derivative of x with respect to x is 1 into p plus 2p into dp by dx. Then p equals to 1 plus x into dp by dx plus 1 into p is p plus 2p into dp by dx. We can write this equation as 1 plus x into dp by dx plus p plus 2p into dp by dx equals to p. Now, bring this p to LHS, we'll get 1 plus x into dp by dx plus p plus 2p into dp by dx minus p equals to 0. Here plus p minus p gets cancelled. Then, 1 plus x into dp by dx plus 
टू पी इंटू टी पी बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो राइट नाउ लेट्स टेक डी पी बाई डी एक्स कॉमन फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट टू टर्म्स सो विल गेट एक्स प्लस टू पी इंटू डी पी बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टेक दिस वन टू आर एच एस विल गेट एक्स प्लस टू पी इंटू डी पी बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन देन डी पी बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू टेक एक्स प्लस टू पी टू आर एच एस विल गेट माइनस वन बाई एक्स प्लस टू पी राइट और वी कैन जस्ट राइट इट एज माइनस ऑफ ओके देन डी एक्स बाई डी पी will be equals to minus of x plus 2p by 1 then this equation becomes dx by dp equals to minus of x plus 2p then dx by dp equals to minus x minus 2p now take this minus x to lhs will get dx by dp Plus x equals to minus two p, which is a linear equation in x. Okay, just compare this equation with dx by dp. Just consider x as dependent variable and p as independent variable. Right, this is linear equation in x and small p, right? Where p and q are functions of small p. Okay, so now by comparing these two, we'll get capital P equals to one and q equals to minus two p. Okay. P and Q are either functions of p or constants. Okay, here we got constant, right? And we need to find general solution, right? Before going to general solution, we need to find integrating factor, which is given by e power integral p into dp, right? So let's find integrating factor. Consider this linear equation as equation number two. I'm going to find integral p dp as equals to integral one into dp equals to integral dp is p. Then integrating factor becomes e power integral p dp equals to e power. We have Integral dp, integral p dp value which is p. So integrating factor is e power p. Now what we have to do? We have to write, or we have to use general solution formula. And the general solution formula to this equation will be dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into differential dp. Plus c. Okay, then just use this formula. X into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dp plus c. Then x into integrating factor e power p into integral q. We have q is minus two p into integrating factor. E power p into t p plus c, which is equal to minus two into integral p e power p d p plus c. Let's evaluate x into e power x dx. Okay, so the integral is of the form product of polynomial function into Exponential function, right? So let's take polynomial function as u and remaining as dv, right? 
So here we are going to use integral by parts formula. Integral u dv equals to u v minus integral v d. Right? We have u equals to x and dv equals to e power x into dx. So now here differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Then we will get du by dx equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. From this we will get du equals to dx. Now integrate here. We are going to integrate to find v. We will get v equals to e power x. Now use this formula. Integral u for u equals to x. We will get x into dv e power x dx equals to u into v x into v is e power x minus integral v for v equals to e power x into replace du by dx then we will get is equals to x e power x minus integral e power x dx is e power x right so therefore integral x e power x dx is x e power x minus e power x. Just take e power x common then you will get e power x into x minus 1. Since integral x e power x dx equals to x e power x into x minus 1 then integral p e power p dp will be just replace x by p so that we will get e power p into p minus 1. Now coming to the solution. This becomes x into e power p equals to minus 2 into replace integral p e power p dp by e power p into p minus 1 plus c. Okay. Then x e power p equals to minus 2 e power p into p minus 1 plus c. Now take e power p to RHS. We will get x equals to 1 by e power p into minus 2 e power p into p minus 1 plus c. This becomes minus 2 e power p into p minus 1 by e power p plus c by e power p. Right? So, e power p gets cancelled from the first term. Then this becomes x equals to minus 2 into p minus 1 plus split this fraction as c into 1 by e power p. Okay. Then x equals to Minus 2 into p is minus 2p. Minus into minus plus 2 plus c into 1 by e power p is e power minus p. Or you can write it as x equals to 2 minus 2p plus c into e power minus p. Consider as equation 3. Now, replace this or substitute this x in y. Okay, we have to eliminate P from X, that is equation 3 and equation 1. Okay, now substitute 3 in 1. Okay, we have equation 1, which is Y equals to 1 plus P into X plus P squared, which is equals to now, we will substitute. Substitute x equals to 2 minus 2p plus c into e power minus p. Equation 3, right? Then y becomes 1 plus p into replace x by 2 minus 2p plus c e power minus p plus p squared. Consider as equation 4. So, if you notice, 
we have tried to eliminate p from equation 3 and equation 1 right but it is not possible to eliminate p from 3 and 4 right so the general solution will be x and y that is x equals to some function of p and c and y equals to function of p and c here we will treat p as a parameter here elimination of p from 1 and 3 is not possible so the required solution is x equals to 2 minus 2p plus c into e power minus p and y equals to 1 plus p into 2 minus 2p plus c into e power minus p plus p square where p is a parameter. Since the elimination of P is not possible, so our solution will be in x equals to some function of P and C and y equals to some function of P and C form. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable for y in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.